Today we are going to learn how to calculate drip rates. Now what that means is I want to calculate how much fluid I am administering through an IV over one minute. Typically we administer normal saline or D5W in the field when we do deliver fluid to a patient. Um, there are many reasons we would give fluid, whether they are maybe just dehydrated, uh, they could be hypovolemic from blood loss and we need to rapid re rapidly replace fluid, or maybe we just want to give a very small amount of fluid uh, to ensure that our intravenous line remains patent, meaning we don't want that blood inside the line to clot off. First, we'll look at the IV bag. Um, the IV bag typically, typically comes wrapped in plastic package uh, that ensures that it is a new hand sterile bag. Today, I'll be using a demo bag, so it may look a little differently. This bag is 0.9% sodium chloride, um, which is the most common fluid we administer uh, because it is isotonic with our body's fluid. Um, this bag contains 1,000 mLs, uh, which is equal to one liter, and that is a very common um, amount that we carry per bag pre-hospitally. In the top right-hand corner, there's typically an expiration date, um, but this being a demo bag, it does not have one. At the bottom of the bag, uh, you will see two ports. One is a blue port, and then one is a white or a clear port. Um, the blue port is the port that we insert our IV tubing, and the white or clear port um, is used for the injection of drugs into the bag, uh, which we will learn about later on. Today we'll just be using the blue port. Now let's look at our IV administration set, or our IV tubing. The tubing comes in plastic packaging uh, that is typically clear or white, depending on what brand. When you open the package, uh, you will see at the top here um, the white spike above the drip chamber. Uh, this is very sharp and this is the part that gets inserted into the IV bag. Uh, just below that is the drip chamber. Um, this is where we can measure how many drops per minute um, is actually being administered to our patient through the IV bag. Below that is a blue roller clamp. Um, this controls how fast fluid is being administered and we can also shut it off um, so we can actually stop the fluid being administered patient or I always shut it off when I'm setting up my IV bag so I don't uh, get fluid on the floor. Um, below that we have some medication ports. Uh, this way we can deliver intravenous medication to our patient without having to disconnect the tubing. Uh, we will learn more about that later. And down here is the part where the administration set would connect to the IV that actually goes into the patient. Um, today I'll just have my tubing running into a trash can um, just for demo purposes. Looking at the packaging, at the top right hand corner of the packaging you'll see a number and it says drops per ml. So this one says 10 drops per ml. That means it takes 10 um, drops to pass through that drip chamber to equal one milliliter of fluid that would actually be entering the patient. So we call this the drip factor. And it's always at the top right hand corner of the package. As you can see on this one, um, this one has a drip factor of 60 drops per ml, which means it takes 60 drops uh, to pass through that drip chamber before one ml of fluid um, enters our patient through the IV line. There are two kinds of IV tubing. Um, we have macro tubing and micro tubing. So macro tubing 
is the more common tubing that we use pre-hospital. The drops are bigger, meaning we can get a larger amount of fluid into our patient faster. Macro set drip factors come anywhere from 10 drops per ml, 15 drops per ml, and sometimes I do see 20 drops per ml, but usually it's 10 or 15. Um, the number would be located right here in the top hand corner. Micro administration sets always come with a drip factor of 60 drops per ml. Uh, this uh, means that the drops are much smaller and it allows us to deliver fluid at a much slower rate or have more control over how much fluid is going into our patient. Uh, typically, we only use micro administration sets when giving a medication through an IV bag, so they're usually found in our drug boxes. If you um, look at this micro administration set, uh, you will see that it does look different than a macro administration set because there is a needle um, entering that drip chamber between uh, the spike in the bag into the drip chamber. Um, this just slows down the rate of fluid entering the drip chamber and makes the drops much smaller. As you can see with the macro set, I do not have that needle. So that is one. Um, if you forget to look at the number and you see that needle in there, then you probably have a micro set.